My name is Euphemia and I'm a pleasure coach, facilitator and author. And in this video, I'm going to talk about three practices to ask for what you want during sex. This video is for you if you feel shy or intimidated to ask for what you want or potentially you just have no clue how to do it. And maybe you actually watched my video of three ways to know what you want during sex but, and now you actually want to learn how to ask for them. I also want to name that so many people struggle to ask for what they want during sex and that it can feel really intimidating. But the only way that we can get better is to practice and feel more comfortable with it. So hopefully these three practices can help you as you go. So number one is saying to someone, it would feel even more pleasurable if you blank. And that is a great way to give feedback if someone is potentially giving you pleasure or you're experiencing pleasure together to say, this is what would make it feel even more pleasurable. And that makes it feel less intimidating uh, because it shows an opportunity for more pleasure rather than that they're doing something wrong. And number two is related where you can potentially model the question to them and say, how can I make this feel even more pleasurable for you? Because that way you're reframing it as an opportunity to explore together rather than being like, does this feel good? Is this good? Because often people find it really intimidating to give feedback during sex because they don't want to feel as though so or make someone feel as though they're not good enough or not doing a good job or not performing well. And a lot of people have lots of intimidation around if they're doing a good job. So these questions can help reframe that to show it as an opportunity rather than something that they're doing badly. Then the third practice is if you don't want something, then you can potentially frame it in a way where you give three opportunities or three things you do want to explore and then one or two things that you don't want to explore. And it's the same idea where you're giving people an opportunity to explore with you and showing that you're really keen, but then you're also clear about what you don't want because knowing what you want is just as, as important as knowing what you don't want. So have a think about what are some things you might want to explore and some of the things you know you don't want to explore with a particular person or situation or just in general when it comes to sex. So I hope that these three practices have been really helpful for you and that you can go out and practice. And if you liked this video, then please actually like the video because then we can show you more and teach you more about sex and communication and pleasure and bodies. And of course, also check out the link to my website and to the Passion Fruit website so that you can keep learning and keep exploring.